my dear Cancer, this is a love reading for you where the person most on your mind will have their true thoughts and feelings revealed by me, Queen of Cups Tarot. We'll also look into what they would tell you if they had the guts to tell you the truth with the Brutally Honest Oracle cards. And please hit the like button and share this video with like-minded. I use the Light Sears Tarot and I will start with the reading. This is um, the, the true thoughts uh, for your relationship. And we have the Seven of Wands here uh, together with the Three of Cups. So it seems like this person is uh, protecting themselves against you in, in some ways. They might be blocking communication or um, they might be acting a little bit hurt. Uh, so when you are a little bit hurt, you might not want to you know, spell everything out or you might not be super energized uh, in the relationship. Let's see here, three of cups together with a page of wands. Uh, it almost looks like this person would want to reinstigate uh, the relationship, however, or that they are thinking about uh, dating uh, someone new. So we'll take a little bit the lover's oracle to figure out which 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 is which it can be different for different viewers of course for some it's uh, they are dreaming about you coming together again and for others it's about maybe taking revenge by finding someone new so reminiscing keepsake um perception learn from the past make memories uh, so it seems like even if they um they might put um, this is like almost like a little bit of a door bouncer that says, uh, no, you're not invited into my private sphere here. Uh, but uh, truly, um, they are very nostalgic about you and the relationship and would want to uh, want to have like a new ignition here or a second chance. Uh, let's see if there's something more. Clock. Need time. Takes time. In time cycles. Time to heal. Progress. Uh, so this uh, seven of wands seems like a temporary uh, thing where they might go out and, and date others, but um, it seems like they will start to miss you at some point or they won't date others at all and just missing you. It's just that they're trying to act um, uh, in a certain way because they might feel you haven't respected them enough or loved them enough. So they want to be playing a little bit hard to get here. Uh, we also have the moon card in, in the bottom of the deck, which shows that this person is uh, uh, is pretty depressed. They feel like they have offered you something that um, maybe you, you you have disappointed them in, in some way that uh, made them put up this seven of wands uh, protection here. Okay, and then we have the three of wands uh, together with the seven of swords. Um, they will um, reach um, out to you, but it can be in different ways. That one person might send a text, another person might uh, invite you to a coffee, and uh, a third person, they will just display themselves, maybe on social media or media, or tell uh, people in your, um, like with your common friends, that uh, they are doing this and they are doing that and they are super happy. and. Because we see that the person wants to communicate. We have both the page of um, uh, three of cups, uh, which says that they really enjoyed uh, your relationship and they would want to experience something like that again. And both these cards is about messages and it's three, three and a little child here in between. Uh, so they really would want to have what they had with you again, uh, but they might not be able to tell this straightforward. Instead, uh, they can try to make you jealous or uh, they can uh, hint to a friend that uh, uh, they miss you but they can't tell you to your face. So it's something a little bit uh, hidden with that. But it's the seven of wands, seven of swords, sevens are spiritual challenges. So it shows that this person is, uh, is challenged uh, maybe in their masculinity, either it's a female or a, a male masculinity in the terms of um, you know being respected having boundaries not letting people step all over you uh, so here the person might be a little bit revengeful or you know silent using silent treatment or uh, trying to make you jealous to uh, to communicate <laughs> that they feel humiliated by 
uh, past events, okay, uh, and that they are doing great, <laughs> you know. Uh, so uh, this is so this is what they're planning in their head. Um, they long for having communications with you again, but they don't know how to go about the, this and still um, keep their self-respect because they feel humiliated by something that happened in the past. And here we have the lovers uh, together with the nine of wands. So on a heart level, we can say that they love you a great deal, but uh, they feel as if you don't love them back or as you have thrown them out or you are not um, appreciating them enough or valuing them enough. So here they are putting up boundaries towards this love and, and towards you. So again, it's seven of wands, nine of wands is pretty much the same uh, energy but with the nine of wands it's a little bit more um, isolated and uh, and um, a little bit more vindictive maybe <laughs> like taking it revenge but we already had this here with the seven of swords and here we have justice and the nine of swords so they're really waiting for a, some type of apology from you or if you could come back and behave in better ways that would be uh, great <laughs> or they want you to say that you're sorry for whatever happened we have the nine of wands nine of swords connected to the hermit card uh, 18 the moon one plus eight nine is also connected to the hermit card so it shows a person that tries to be strong and go on their own uh, because they don't need your love because you threw, threw them out anyway or you didn't appreciate them anyway but really they want your love but they want you to come and apologize so that they can be with you uh, without feeling humiliated. So here we have the strength card. Um, the strength card is pretty positive because it shows a person that's uh, uh, dignified on a soul level, that they are really trying to uh, be themselves and uh, not let uh, um, conditioning change them so for example the need to be loved makes you uh, pretend you don't like what you like or pretend that you are another person but this this is um, more authentic this is a person um, I am what I am so love me for who I am or I will have to you know stay in my own dignity but it's not in this vindictive way in the same way as with the seven of swords but the seven of swords here comes because the person is hurt but past that, uh, this person seems to uh, want to stay in like honor and value and being mature and adult and, you know, things that both give fairness, but also be able to receive fairness. So it's not uh, entirely a, a bad thing, but they might have mis have a misconception about uh, what happened between you two. So maybe what you said or did isn't what you meant uh, like how they were able to perceive it or um, see it so it can be very different when we are trying to communicate to a person they can totally mis misconceive and have great misunderstandings so about what we just said and um, but this person wants to be treated in better ways they want to um they don't want to be mistreated and stay in a relationship if they're mistreated. They, they, they feel they need to value themselves more than that. Uh, so this is their most likely action that they will take when it comes to you and your relationship. And we have the Ace of Wands with the Five of Wands. So they're very passionate about this relationship. So it can even be hard for themselves to keep out thoughts about you sometimes this will be their own thoughts and they're trying to no no I shouldn't think about this person I shouldn't remin reminisce about this person uh, so it's almost like this song remember to forget you so that might be your your song but um, then uh, they feel as if you are not on the same page and that they need to protect themselves against uh, um, you maybe having different future plans than them or Maybe you didn't include them in your plans or it's something here. Maybe they weren't invited to your um, dinner or something. <laughs> or they simply just don't feel loved by you. But um, Ace of Wands and the Five of Wands together can show a bit of uh, aggression. But this person is keeping it to themselves. 
Uh, here we have the nine hermit, nine, nine, nine. Uh, so it's a little bit triangle here, showing that this person is uh, trying to stay in, in, in dignity. They would really want to reach out to you, uh, but they think that this would be a bad choice because uh, uh, then it's like this <laughs> tug of war between people. If one have done something that seemed a little bit cold, the other one is now requiring uh, apology, or in other case, they will also stay cold and isolated and lonely and put on the ice machine, okay? And here we have the Page of Swords uh, together with the Queen of Cups. Um, Queen of Cups is, of course, you, Page of Swords. They are trying to understand this situation and make it better for the future for themselves. Um, they still love you and are very drawn towards you and might want to communicate with you. But in that case, they would want to talk about what happened and how that made them feel or what kind of impact that had uh, on, on them. And uh, they want to make sure that there's not misunderstandings and they might be a little bit piercing with their words or have certain demands on you but it's still you <laughs> like you are all over this uh, reading so um, they just feel that um, they want you to uh, make a better e effort we are a bad match i won't give up on us this is the hard card for a bad match <laughs> and uh, I won't give up on us we see this because the person thinks of you a lot and here um, far into the future they still think of you and they might uh, stalk your social me media or maybe they are uh, doing this thing with you know reaching out to common friends and things like this and ho hope that it will spread the word and they might realize that, yes, you might not be the best couple in the world, but um, they still feel a lot of love for you and feel connected with you. Uh, so they would want to have a continuation of this relationship into the future. So I will see what the divine says about the outcome for this relationship. And we have a separation. And it's also what the tarot cards is telling us that this person is sad it seems after a fight or after a breakup and now they're trying to stay cold uh, uh, until you come and say that you're sorry <laughs> okay so um, give your relationship chance work on partnership I think unrequited love can have been the topic here that maybe one person or both felt unloved in this uh, equation um, sometimes we have different language of love. One can, you know, cook dinner for you or uh, help you with different things. And that's love for them. But they never tell you or write small, cute notes. And for another person, that might be crucial uh, that we can cuddle and give each other sweet names and write a note when you leave for work. <laughs> but and we might feel like the other person is really unromantic if they don't do these kind of things. But they do, you know, a lot of services for you because that's how they feel loved if you do services to them. And that is how they show love. And, and you might show love in a, in a different way that's, that they can't understand and appreciate. So we need to learn, teach each other the way that we need, want to be loved, but also uh, learn how the, the person wants to be loved. So that we can communicate our love in the best way possible. So see a little bit what this uh, uh, is happening for this uh, person at this point or what they need to work on here. The resting tree. So patience, stillness. Uh, so they try to digest what they have been through and uh, try to um, calm their feelings down, their own anxiety their own sadness it's like lying in fetal position and, and just feeling hurt and maybe eating a lot of ice cream <laughs> or uh, but not really going out and meeting friends and such they might do it occasionally um, kind of to get over you in a way or to you know forget about what happened uh, but um, it's not uh, really their vibration it's uh, more it that would be a little bit again this revenge thing uh, okay so advice for you and we have co-create uh, number 40 i'll read this card for you <laughs> so it's like you're wondering how to get to this 
person that have isolated themselves like this and also maybe you know totally misunderstood the situation or what where you were coming from or what you wanted to achieve with what what happened okay uh, so um, connection of the heart served to inspire you opening you up to new ideas you would never have come to on your own you are looking in the mirror held up by this experience and seeing yourself in an unexpected way who is this uh, extraordinary being looking back at you you are going to be so happy that you kept your heart open your love is a unique work of art now uh, the very embodiment of beauty uh, so it seems uh, as if maybe you are the one that needs to be the consolation in this situation and and help the other person to get uh, out of their deep disappointment. And uh, if you love this person, um, maybe try to convince them that you didn't mean things in the way that they perceived it. Uh, so it's really about talking this person in from the edge. Now this is an owl, they have wings, they won't fall to their death. Uh, but even if your friend might be uh, like this owl here, um, it's a little bit like this, you know, being on the edge and being a little bit of a martyr here. Okay, uh, so uh, uh, my dear Cancer, as a full member to this channel, you get the full version of this reading. And as an extended member, you will get these readings ahead of time and with no ads. I'm also doing spiritual growth readings for all the members to the channel every week. Subscribe and then check out the many perks to the join button that will appear or follow the link in the description box to learn more about membership. If you're not a member to the channel, you can watch the reading What Do They Want to Happen Between You Two to get more information about this situation or the love reading for September that will show both of your opinions. At my first channel page, you will also find a playlist for your astrological sign where you can watch all the latest readings for your specific sign in one single playlist. On the end screen, you will see the link to that playlist. So go and check it out. So thank you so much for watching and until next time, stay truly blessed. Bye bye.